I'm say, Frank, why? Punch forever, why? So I'm leaving my why, why the guy, why? Because I'm fly, why? You wear a tight clothes, why? You got to do what I want, why? Because I'm in champ lifestyle, why? Because I love myself, why? I love God, why? You got a wrong plan for me, why? Because I'm say, why? It's my job to say, why? It's better to be an always shape than to be a not and shape at all. Why? Because I've been knowing people for a long time. I still know them from the young to the older days. Why? I'm trying to take care of my mom. Why? Because I like using that. Why? Because I keep going. Why? Because I'm a rapper. Got a fat man. Keep the nose going because I'm a rattlesnake. And fat cuz on as a rattle. Why? I am a rattle. Why? Because I keep going. And the guys are going to catch that. Why? Why? Because Rafi's taking the time. Why? Well, yeah, Rafi. Why? Because I'm almost done. Why? <laughs> so I'm one minute to go. Now we work. Keep watching non-stop. Now I'm from punching the shit. Oh yeah, Rafi. Rafi, where we at? Let me know when I got steady. Steady my car, steady my car. Steady my car. Hitfirstboxing.com. We in the house with the one and only Peter. Kid Chocolate Quillen. I'm Peter, man. We know each other for a good, good time. You a hard working man. I mean, you in Brooklyn, Gleason's. I mean, what got you over here in Gleason's, though, in Brooklyn? I've been right around the corner. It's fast, man. Easy to get to today. So, I got different memberships. I different gyms that I can pop my head into and just start to work. No doubt, man. I mean, there's a lot of rumors on the streets, man. They talking about Curtis Showtime Stevens. I mean, you know, I know you waiting for Gennady Golovkin, man, but I mean, the networks ain't working. I mean, you talk about it, man. Talk on this whole situation. What's happening? What's next? I don't really even like mentioning on like his name because yeah, I mean, it's a fucked up situation, but you know that's business. You know, every day it's a lot of things and a lot of people get cut out of business and everything. But I just know that I'm destined for greatness. You know what I mean? Not only do I look at it in a good way, because I look at it like I only got 15 amateur fights. They compare me guys with over 200, 300 amateur fights, other champions. So it's big for me to be, a, be able to be that. So, you know, I think about you know, how many, how much people got to go to a job and hate their job and punch the clock. At least for my clock, my shit is always on. I never punch out and I just like to stay working out, stay in shape because, you know, in the beginning of my life, it used to be like a, a rehab and a, a refuge for me to run to. When I went to get out of the street, if I had some problems at home with my family and shit, I just came here and I just made sure that I, you know, I work towards what I'm, what I'm destined to do, you know. So when they mention other guys and why am I, if I'm scared of him, it's like, I'm not scared of nobody, man. When you had a pistol in your head and, you know, You've been, you know, caught by the police, you're running from the, the police. Those moments are scary, but I got through those moments. So, it's not to be scared about no other man that I could do the same thing that they can do to me. So, you know, it's, it's not, it's just nonsense right now to keep speaking about a fight and getting people and fans excited about something and making it seem like you're, people are scared of you. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I honestly wish on my level right now that I could fight some of his opposition, which I fought, you know, uh, you know, Gabriel Rosado. And, you know, he gave both, both of us a tough showing, but we, you know, we earned the victory the way it's supposed to. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, I'm still in the fight dropping. And exactly. I still finished him the same way Janady Golovkin did. And I heard Matthew Macklin saying that I'm not no GGG. That's the most scary shit you can say. Why are you comparing me to another man? You ain't even been in there with me. Matter of fact, me and you spar, and you already know what the work looked like. 
You know what the work look like. So, you know, I'm just talking and trying to make a payday. I just hate dudes that calling out like they ready. Like, I was calling Matthew Macklin out two years ago, three years ago. And they, they didn't listen to one word I said. They ain't, the opportunity wasn't there for me because he never gave me the shot. Now I'm the motherfucking champ. Now everybody want a piece of the champ. I feel like I got that swag balloon on my head. But everybody's on them over just trying to swipe my shit off. Girls trying to be next to the balloon. And, and boxers want to knock the ball off and put it over their head. So... <laughs> If I was to worry about that, I just have to worry about me being in the gym, working hard, and keeping that billow right over my head right no here. Doubt. So it keeps shining the way it does. So Peter, so Golden Boy ain't got no date pretty much, nothing nothing settled, nothing up in the air, no date yeah, out there? Know, of course they got a lot of opponents, they got to make the right kind of situation for me because yeah, right. I do get paid for it. And not only that, you know what I'm saying, like I'm, it's a demand out for me right now, they want to see me fight. So I'm, I'm blessed with that because the only thing they expected from me is like jail time, you know what I mean? So this is all the love and feeling to have when you got people having a demand on you for something good. Everything's good, man. On the positive tip, man, right now, a couple last words for your fans worldwide. Yeah, I just want to thank y'all for just giving me the love, showing me the support. Make sure y'all hit www.thekidchocolate.com. Get a tag on my um, social media, at Kid Chocolate on Twitter, at Kid Chocolate on Instagram. Man, I'm showing nothing but love. But let me finish. I'm going to go ahead and knock out 40, 400 countries for y'all. You come, every 50. Thank <laughs> you.